It seems like three months of this year have just flown by and now it's time to do some predictions for the month of April and that's what I'm going to do today. Hello everybody, I'm Tina Chaudhry. Welcome to my channel and a very warm namaste. Aham Brahmasmi First of all, which is my favorite thing to do on my monthly predictions, I like to wish all of those people that have April birthdays a very, very happy birthday. May your divine and my divine bless you with happiness, health, success, prosperity, and very good health. Now, April is the time for spring, so it's a very good time to start new things. This is a time when the sun gets exalted, so it means that um, it's a time to begin new things and you get blessed by the sun's special energy. So make sure you start something new in your life. And again, a very happy birthday to all the April birthdays. This month, there are lots of interesting planetary placements and most of them are a bit challenging. So first, let's take a look at what's going on as far as the planetary transits are concerned. Now, as soon as the month starts on April 1st, Mercury will start its retrograde motion in Aries. It will go back into Pisces on April 9th and debilitate in Pisces. Now, it will go direct on April 25th, so most of the month we have a difficult Mercury retrograde to deal with. Then on April 13th, the sun transits to Aries and that's the exaltation zodiac for sun. So wonderful energy there. Next on April 22nd, Mars transits to Pisces and right after that on April 24th, Venus transits to Aries. But the most important event is uh, the solar eclipse on April 8th. That will be in the zodiac of Pisces. I will try to make a separate video about that in just a few days. So April has some significant planetary influences that have an impact on us. So let's take a look at those now. Um, the first influence is from the conjunction of Mars and Saturn in Aquarius. They have been together since March 15th and will stay until April 22nd. The peak of the conjunction will be on April 9th when both planets are directly on top of each other because they will both be at 20 degrees in Aquarius. So a few days before and after this date are especially sensitive days and that's considered a planetary war due to them being very close to each other. Interestingly, not only is Saturn conjunct with Mars, but it is also aspecting the both Mars ruled zodiacs of Aries and Scorpio. So this is a good heavy war that they're having. Now this conjunction is a challenging one and the reason is that these two planets are bitter enemies and they also have very conflicting um, energies. Mars represents vitality, energy, and quick actions. But Saturn is a very slow mover and it takes a long time to think or even move ahead. So the impact it has on us is that we are unable to make quick decisions or move forward quickly with our action plans. In fact, we may doubt or question our decisions and hesitate to take any action. We may even encounter obstacles and delays in getting the desired results. It's this push and pull energy within ourselves that we are going to be struggling with or may have been already struggling with. And as a result, we could feel frustrated, impatient, and even very irritated with ourselves and others. Now we could feel that things have just come to a standstill also and nothing seems to be moving forward. So this is the energy of those that planetary war. Now my only suggestion is to just stay patient and don't push. Things will come in their natural course. At the mundane world level, Saturn represents the common man and large groups of people. And Mars is the disciplinarian form of the government, so it could be the armed forces and the police, etc. So this could indicate clashes in between large groups of people and the government or the police. Um, in certain countries, there could be large mobs of people uprising or re uh, rebelling against the government or simply violent mob activity. This is definitely indicating violent clashes amongst groups of people. You'll see in that heavily during this mid-April time. Another prediction that can be made is the occurrence of natural or man-made disasters such as accidents or mishaps. 
and these could be either in land or water uh, but definitely air because Aquarius is an air sign the second challenge we have is of the solar eclipse um, on April 8th in the zodiac of Pisces eclipses always have that disturbed energy that impacts us and the solar eclipse impacts us at the soul level and the third major impact is from the retrograde mercury which is from April 1st to April 25th now mercury rules our communication finance business also travel and transport so there are chances of miscommunication misunderstandings and inaccuracies in our work so there could also be electronic devices that malfunction and there may be issues with the transport and travel industry as well save your work while you're working on your computers and laptops I always give this guidance so there you have it April is going to be an interesting month to say the least but we always hope for the best and I've suggested some guidance to each ascendant in my prediction section so I'm sure there's nothing really to worry about it's just based on these indications that I'm just you know putting out some predictions and some guidance one of the major guidance I've always done during a mercury retrograde is that while you're working on your laptops uh, you know electronic devices continue to save your work because um, devices crashing freezing is very common during a mercury retrograde so do that also while you're sending out communications like whether they're by email any writing or even on the phone be very careful and double check your work because it's very common to have inaccuracies in your communication or inaccuracies within your work especially if we're working with numbers it's very common to be inaccurate in your work so double check your work double check your communication before you send it out that's always the guidance I give during the mercury retrograde so um now I'm going to move on to my predictions that everybody's waiting for but if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe look at my cushion that's always there as a reminder and if you have already subscribed thank you very much for supporting my channel there's going to be a transit a very major transit of Jupiter uh, coming up in May and I'm going to make a video about that so make sure you subscribe so you get a notification of that video as soon as I make it and also if you like this video give me a like you can put your comments in there and um, do share this video with friends and family predictions for Aries Aries your ascendant ruler Mars is in a planetary war with Saturn also Saturn has been aspecting both the Mars ruled zodiacs of Aries and Scorpio so this month Aries could experience some health related issues such as tiredness fatigue low energy also backaches gastric issues and eye infections as far as career is concerned Aries is going to be very motivated to work very hard and put as much effort as they can to achieve their professional desires and wishes uh, to get them fulfilled there is going to be great visibility so you need to be on your toes your bosses will be watching you this month also you could be faced with stiff uh, competition and you may even be bothered by co-workers remember mercury is retrograde so make sure you don't retaliate back and keep your communication professional at all times also due to the mars saturn conjunction avoid conflict in the workplace especially don't get uh, combative with your bosses and seniors it could have undesirable consequences it's time to just put your head down work hard and you're going to see very good results of that as far as financials are concerned it's a mixed month because both the 11th house of gains is highly activated by lots of planets as well as the 12th house of expenses and losses is also activated so it's a sort of a no gain no loss sort of month in where you do get gains but then you may be tempted to spend it all invest very carefully this month there's a chance of loss uh, or lack of gains it could also be an expensive long a month like i mentioned at least for the first half of, of the month so you need to resist the temptation to spend a lot of money let's talk about your love life um, it's going to be interesting to say the least you could get into small fights and arguments with your partner but then you could make up with each other as well Venus and Rahu are um, together so this is what's going to cause the back and forth of the arguments and then you may make up also now for the married Aries it's time to be very understanding with your spouse also watch your communication um, this Venus and uh, Rahu combination is uh, where you could 
a small argument could escalate and it could be due to maybe someone else saying something, a third person saying something, and then you guys, the couple starts fighting. So that's what that means. Also, Mercury is retrograde. So there could be some miscommunication issues between the relationships that occur. So watch what you say to people very, very carefully and don't make sure that there's no miscommunication or misunderstanding that occurs as a result of other people saying something or you saying something to your family or loved ones. As far as students are concerned, there can be lots of distracting energy and lack of focus that um, you feel this month. You're going to have to try extra hard to put a concentrated effort into your studies. Otherwise, um, you may not see the results that you're hoping to see in your studies. Overall, I'm going to say it's not a bad month as or as bad as it sounds. You may get very good results from the efforts that you make in your career or in anything else that you want to do only two things that you need to work on this month is to manage your expenses. Don't be tempted to spend a lot of money on luxuries or unnecessary expenses and your communication. Mercury is retrograde, so I'm just going to have to tell all my ascendants to watch their communication. Chances of miscommunication are really high. So watch your communication and nurture your relationships and don't start fights and arguments. Predictions for Taurus. Taurus, your ascendant ruler Venus, is exalted in Pisces most of this month. So Taurus has been experiencing some fun social activity. And since Venus is also conjunct with Rahu, a lot of Taurus may have been a little obsessed and very focused about achieving material gains and getting their wishes and desires fulfilled. As far as career is concerned, it's an incredibly positive month. You can achieve a lot of growth. As well as financially, it may be a very favorable month for you, especially if you are a business owner. The first half is a time for great visibility and recognition in your career. There's also a chance of getting new opportunities if you are looking for them. But overall, you're going to have great energy and you're going to work very hard in your career and you're also going to see the success or the results of your effort. Although, on the other hand, this month you may sense that your co-workers are not cooperating with you as much as you would like them to. Your best approach is to just let the Mercury retrograde pass until the end of April and don't react negatively against them. For business owners, my guidance is to work well with your business partner. Even if you feel some sort of disconnect or friction with them, don't react because by the end of the month, the chances of business improving and giving favorable results are very high. I'm going to give the same word of caution for the employed people is to make sure you get along with your superiors and bosses as well. Don't uh, start arguments or discussions with them, whether you agree with them or not. This is not the month where you have a combative or aggressive approach in the workplace. Mars and Saturn are together in your house of career. It's not going to go well if you start discussions. It's a time to just try and get along as best as possible in the workplace, especially with your bosses, co-workers and superiors. As far as financials are concerned, I mentioned that this is a favorable month in terms of gains. But at the same time, you may be tempted to spend it very quickly as well. So do your best to control the excess spending. Your fifth house ruler, Mercury, uh, is retrograde and Ketu is with it. So love life and children are going to cause you some stress and challenges. You need to manage your relationships with them. This is what the fifth house stands for, is love life and children as well as um, education, creativity, and also investing money. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge this month. There could be some misunderstandings in our relationships with love life, as well as with children. So if you're in a love relationship, there could be some ego struggles or ego battles and arguments about that. If you have children, then those children could make demands on you that you don't want to fulfill or you feel that they're wrong. And so this is what's going to cause you a little bit of stress in um, your life this month. And you may even feel like disconnecting with them or just wanting not, not have anything to do with them and being away from them. This is a very, very temporary phase. So I'm warning you, don't make any decisions regarding love life or, you know, uh, children in this month. This is, like I said, it's the Mercury retrograde that's causing this stress with, in these relationships. So don't make any permanent decisions or 
act on this. Just kind of lay low, let this time pass. As far as your health is concerned, you, some of you may experience back pain and foot issues or foot pain. Also, you may have some digestive issues. So eat healthy and eating fresh food as opposed to processed foods uh, helps a lot because Ketu is in the fifth house. As far as students are concerned, there can be some confusion uh, regarding your educational decisions. So it's um, time to get some good advice from somebody you trust as opposed to making wrong decisions, which is entirely possible due to the Mercury retrograde in the fifth house. Predictions for Gemini. Gemini, the month starts off with your ascendant ruler Mercury starting its retrograde motion in the 11th house. So that means that there could be some financial matters that you may have to take a second look at and maybe make some changes or corrections to it. Or you may even change your mind in how you want to handle your financial planning and gains. In fact, some Geminis may rethink what their wishes and desires have been all along and what they really should be and change their mind about what they really want to pursue going forward. I've been saying this for a long time that Gemini has had Ketu in the fourth house since last November, which indicates that some real estate matter has been pressing on their minds and possibly creating some stress for them. Now this month, it's possible that there is some confusion in the mind about how to proceed on this real estate matter. And you may even change your mind a few times on um, regarding this real estate matters. As far as career is concerned, this month may prove to just be a very status quo month, nothing really eventful, but it's a month where you have to work hard, may even have a lot of extra work that you feel got dumped on you or you need to do. So it's probably an accumulation of uh, the tasks that you had been putting off or get ignoring in the past, delayed by you, and now this is the time when you feel you just have to get those done. Business owners may see favorable uh, growth in their business, and this is due to their efforts and having to do some very new creative uh, work or extra effort in their business as well. My guidance is to put make some creative changes or uh, implement some new ideas in your business model for good gains. Think of new ideas and um, how you can uh, expand your business model or change your business. And this is a very, very good time for you to do that. You'll see very good results as a result of some creative changes or new changes that you make in your business. Financials uh, for this month are favorable as long as effort is being made continually to generate income. For those Geminis that were waiting for any benefits from the government, this month is favorable, uh, favorable in terms of that. And if you need to apply for any government benefits, this is the month that you could do it. Speaking of love life, this is a pleasant month for your love life. The only guidance I can uh, give you is to make sure your communication is pleasant and don't say things without thinking. So chances of miscommunication are very high. Also, uh, avoid being critical or uh, being picky in your relationship. This is a month it's where you value relationships as they are and not try to change the people in your life. So it could be a very, very nice month in your relationships. You could have a very good time. But at the same time, because Mercury is retrograde, I'm cautioning you how you position yourself and your communication and your speech with all your loved ones. Now for the married Geminis also, this is a very pleasant month. Again, uh, you need to be very cautious about how you, uh, you know, communicate with your spouse. Also, your spouse could receive some uh, financial monetary benefits as well. So, of course, that's going to make them happy. I want you to share in that happiness if that does happen. Don't get critical. As far as students are concerned, uh, make sure that you are thinking through things carefully, especially if you're making any changes in your education or your educational um, plans. You could be, make poor judgment at this time. So don't make impulsive or hasty decisions. In fact, you should go get some advice if you are making any um, important decisions. And speaking of health, you need to take care of your father's health this month and also your own. You may have some shoulder pain, back pain, and of course, your mental stress is going to be high. Do your best to relax your mind, ease your stress and tension. Predictions for cancer. 
Cancer, this month there is a planetary war of Saturn and Mars going on in your 8th house. And though there are also lots of planets in your ninth house of destiny and luck. So this month is going to be a critical one in terms of destiny and changes where things could happen suddenly in your professional life. And they may also have a very lasting uh, impact on your domestic life. As far as career is concerned, there's this month where suddenly you see good things happening in your career. Your past work experience will give you recognition and you may receive benefits as a, uh, as a result of your past efforts. You will make uh, good new relationships and in that effort you will also do your best to help others. But in the end, you may feel that you have, taken, you have been taken advantage of. So be cautious about who you help. Uh, don't self-sacrifice for the benefit of of others this is not the month for that now normally i would never suggest somebody to not help others but this is a month where you need to be very cautious about whether you're helping or you're just being taken advantage of this is a very positive career month for career uh, for cancer so they need to help themselves very much this month if they want to get ahead in their careers so just a slight bit of um, selfishness would be it would go a long way this month Financials, this is an okay month, except you may be tempted to spend a lot and then you'll feel like you're justifying the expense um, as something that's very necessary. In fact, some of these items could be ones that you had previously wanted to purchase and now you just can't resist uh, spending on them. So you need to kind of control your expenses a little bit this month if that's in fact something that's important to you. Love life, uh, this month is also a little bit of ups and downs. This month is because uh, it's an emotional month, uh, one for you. You may be extra sensitive uh, to your partner's behaviors and some days you feel everything is good and then other days you're getting your feelings hurt. So this is a month of emotional up and down. You've just been through a lunar eclipse that impacts cancer more than anybody. And so this is some this is a month where you will need to manage your own emotions, your own sensitivities a lot more than any other ascendant. Balance your emotion to try to stabilize your feelings as best you can. My guidance to you is don't make any decisions based on your emotions this month because your emotions are running high this month. As far as health is concerned or family is concerned, I should say your mother's health may improve if she had been had some health concerns in the past, but your father may have some health issues and it may be related to some headaches and mental stress at this time. So kind of watch out with those relationships. Also, watch your relationships and your communication with your siblings at this time. Uh, Mercury is retrograde. Ketu is in the third house. The third house represents your siblings. So suddenly somebody may say something and it gets out of hand and the communication just gets out of control and then there could be an argument or something like that. So I've been cautioning Cancer to be very careful with their relationship with their siblings due to the fact that Ketu has been in the third house. As far as your own health is concerned, you need to be careful and watch your diet. You could have some digestive issues that come up this month so eat healthy eat things that agree with you the other thing is uh, you may be a little bit accident prone this month i don't mean serious accident i mean you could just get hurt from uh, basically doing nothing because when mars comes into the eighth house with saturn it creates some accident prone issues so drive carefully in general i don't mean to scare you for sure but just just be cautious around things students you uh, this is an emotional time for you so you could get very distracted lose your focus so try to relax and get some good advice from coaches teachers and mentors if you are confused about anything prediction for leo Leo, your ascendant ruler's son will be exalted after mid-month in your ninth house. And the ninth house is of luck, destiny, and dharma. But this month, there's also going to be a solar eclipse in your eighth house. So there could be um, ups and downs during this month. And in fact, this month may be a little volatile in different ways. Talking about your career, um, there can be some volatility in your career. You may be thinking of making a change in your job or you may be feeling a lot of insecurity in your current workplace. There are indications of job changes for Leos this month. The good news is that if you do make any job changes, it would be very beneficial. And for those Leos that are worried about job loss, no need to worry. The future planetary, uh, planetary placements indicate getting a very good job as well. So if you're worried, don't worry too much. The future looks very bright as far as job and career is concerned.
But my guidance um, is that you definitely try to work things out as much as you can in your current job. Mercury retrograde may create issues with communication with bosses and co-workers. Just ignore them. No need to retaliate or get, um, get combative with them. Keep your head down and make an effort to do a good job. So just kind of keep it down. Just have patience and try to get along as much as possible. As far as financials are concerned, this is going to be an expensive month. Your eighth house is extremely active with Rahu in there, as well as your ascendant ruler. So try. it may force you to spend on things that you really don't want to. It could even be spending for in-laws or some other extended family members. And so this is also the month to um, not that you indulge in any speculative activities or make investment decisions. Just stay put where you are in terms of financial planning. Um, let's talk about health. The solar eclipse in the eighth house can cause some mental stress for you. It can also cause some uh, loss of respect in terms of families or friends. So make sure you don't do anything to let that happen. Maintain your dignity. Don't say things, um, you know, um, impulsively. Um, the solar eclipse uh, it impacts Leo ascendants the most because that's their ascendant ruler. And the fact that it's happening in the eighth house the eighth house is the least favorite of astrologers can you know impact leo this month significantly so this is the month um i don't mean to discourage you but just the, the best that you can do is just fly low don't don't get into conflicts with anybody and it should pass pretty well i don't mean to scare you um as far as love life is concerned you may feel like your partner is not giving you enough time and then you may start an argument with them stay patient with that as well because this is the impact of the eclipse as well. If you are married, then avoid getting into arguments with your spouse as well. And these arguments could be uh, as a result of uh, somebody outside of third person um, or in-laws also. So that could be a reason for the arguments. So, uh, you know, avoid that argument as, as well. Um, if you do that and you're able to not have an argument with your husband or your spouse, I should say, then this month can be a very good month for your um, marriage. Uh, you may even be celebrating some um, good religious activity together or you may even spend some good time together. So overcome the uh, tendency to have arguments within your marriage. This month, you need to take care of your mother's health. She may have lots of aches and pains in her knees. And as far as students are concerned, this is a very favorable month. You maintain your focus and hard work and you get really good results. So overall, uh, Leo, don't mean to scare you. The only one thing you need to watch is your communication this month. Keep it pleasant and don't get into arguments or discussions with people. Prediction for Virgo. Virgo, your ascendant ruler Mercury will start the month by being retrograde in the 8th house. Then it will also transit back to the 7th house. Now the 8th house is one of sudden changes transformation. And the 7th house is your marriage spouse and even business partners. This retrograde motion is going to remind you to either redo or rethink your relationship with your spouse. And what you have been doing, that's not so correct. And the changes that you need to make in yourself. The retrograde also provokes you to make changes within yourself in how you're handling your career and your profession. By the end of the month, there can be some changes or transformations that occur within you and your way of thinking. As far as career is concerned, I already mentioned that there will be some trouble because you will have or you will feel that you have extra workload and also feel that the work and the tasks that you are being expected to perform are not per your level. So there can be some feelings of frustration and this can provoke you to make some changes in your way of thinking and your attitude. Just resist the urge to get into arguments and fights with your co-workers because later in the month your attitude changes and you feel that maybe you are overreacting and all you had to do was change your own approach and maybe learn new skill sets and handle people a little better. As far as business owners, this is not a, not a month to make changes or investment decisions. Both the houses for loss are activated, so it could end unfavorably. Also this month, the, so, the sun exalts in the 8th house, so stay very honest with all government paperwork. Don't take chances with inaccuracy. In the U.S., this is also tax filing season, so all the Virgo ascendants, make sure you're very honest in your tax reporting because it can come back in a bad way. As far as financials are concerned, this is a month of easy come, easy go. Money will come and then it will get spent immediately. And 
this could be maybe on family members needs but as a guidance don't loan money to others you may not get it back as far as love and relationships are concerned this will be testy this month as well because of the mercury retrograde that's happening in your eighth house as well so avoid conflicts and manage your expectations of others this is for love partners and your children as well it's better to stay quiet this month don't forget that the Mercury retrograde is impacting other people's speech and communication as well. So their speech is impacted as well. So if you are going to react, then things can get out of hand pretty quickly. As far as health is concerned, you need to watch what you eat because there are chances of digestive issues. Um, some of you may have some neck pain or even some eye strain issues. As far as students, it's a status uh, quo month, but you may have some low energy. So try to stay active so you can maintain good physical and a mental energy. Prediction for Libra. Libra, your ascendant ruler Venus is going to be exalted in the sixth house along with Rahu. Now this indicates that you need to take care of your physical health. It's time to get a physical checkup. Uh, there could be some minor issues uh, with your health so it's not a bad idea for you to get a checkup. The best thing you can do for yourself is to start a very good physical exercise regimen and that would take care of a lot of problems. Um, as far as your career is concerned, there will be a solar eclipse in your sixth house this month. And the sixth house signifies your workplace, your co-workers, amongst other things. There will be a tendency to get into ego issues in the workplace. You must avoid this at all costs. Also, do not get into conflicts with your supervisors and bosses. If you do get into an ego battle with your supervisor or boss, it could have some negative consequences. Now, your co-workers could also try to damage your reputation and talk behind your back. So stay very vigilant, but don't react negatively. Instead, put extra effort in your work. But since Rahu is also there, you most likely will be able to overcome these hidden enemies or competition as long as you maintain your dignity and work performance. Those Libras that were looking for a new job could get new job offers this month. As far as business owners are concerned, this is a status quo month. Just stay on course and everything should be okay. Uh, financially, this is a very strong month. Your investments could give good returns and you can also make new investments this month as well. The only guidance that I have is that there could be some expenses in the early part of, uh, part of the month, but later in the month, you're able to control your expenses and probably add to your savings as well. As far as love life is concerned, there could be some arguments and fighting um, if you are in a love relationship. Now, this could also be the case in your relationship with your children if you have children. So avoid heated conflict in these relationships. Don't let your ego come into these relationships because these ego battles can have some damaging consequences. Also avoid making sarcastic comments because Mercury retrograde makes a person make very sarcastic and uh, critical comments. So avoid those. Otherwise, uh, there could be some damaging um, impacts in these relationships with your love life or your children. Relationship with your spouse and other family members is going to be uh, okay. Again, my reminder is the Mercury is retrograde. So don't bring up old or past issues with your spouse or other family members or start uncomfortable conversations. Otherwise, your marriage could be pretty happy, pretty, pretty uh, pleasant, and you may actually spend some good times with your, with your spouse. Now, again, I've mentioned that health is a concern because you may overall feel very weak, fatigued and lack energy. It wouldn't be such a bad idea to go take a health checkup and you could even experience uh, digestive issues. So some Libras uh, can experience eye issues. And so it's a time to watch what you're eating. Make sure you're eating healthy, taking care of your health. And like I mentioned before, if you start a physical exercise regimen, this is a great month to do that. It takes care of the, all the sixth house problems. So it also actually takes care of the issues that you have in the workplace. I'm definitely not meaning to scare people about their health, but like I said, it's a precautionary thing. If you feel that you're not well, then you get a checkup. Otherwise, there's no need to be scared. It's just a sixth house matter and it could pass, you know, after this month. Overall, it's an okay month, nothing to be concerned about, but my guidance to all ascendants is to beware of the Mercury retrograde and think before you speak. Prediction for Scorpio. 
Scorpio, your ascendant ruler Mars, is going to be in a planetary war with Saturn in your fourth house. Now, the fourth house represents your mental peace, domestic happiness, and real estate matters. This month, Scorpio may have a feeling of stress and pressure, and for some it could be due to real estate matters, and for others it could be due to matters related to their mother. As far as your career is concerned, this month holds the possibility of some changes in your job. It could be a minor uh, one or even a complete job change. But my guidance uh, to you is that you maintain a very good work performance and good relationships with your bosses and seniors because any errors or issues that come up in your work uh, could have some unfavorable consequences. So there needs to be some caution in regards to your job this month. For business owners, there could be some stress related to profitability in this month. Now, the only exception I'm giving out is for those business or individuals that are engaged in the in the business related to foreign entities, companies, or countries. Now, in that case, they could have some very favorable re results, and this is due to the position of Rahu. Rahu represents all things foreign, so if you're engaged in anything related to overseas or foreign, it's a favorable time for you. Financially, this is a profitable month and there could be opportunities for multiple income streams. But be very cautious about which ones you are going to um, pursue because of the fact that Rahu is with Venus, you may actually make errors in judgment and pursue the uh, wrong ones. So be very cautious about which uh, opportunities you're actually going to pursue seriously. This could also be a somewhat expensive month and the spend could possibly be on travel and leisure. But generally this month, the income is good and the expense is also a bit high, but more than likely you can come out ahead. As far as love life and marriage is concerned, this month is favorable time for all love relationships as uh, well as relationship with your spouse. You could spend some pleasant time together, so no worries in relationships. As far as other family members are concerned, take care of your mother's health this month. Now, health for you is something that you need to take care of. You will have mental stress, as I mentioned, so also chances of some digestive issues can come up. So pay very close attention to the food that you eat and your diet. And some Scorpios may even end up with some pain in their feet and ankles. Overall, you're going to maybe feel a lack of energy and fatigue as well. So take good care of your health and watch your um, diet very closely. As far as the Mercury retrograde in the sixth house, you need to be cautious about taking on too much loan and debt, or you may even um, be, need to reconsider on that matter. Also, be careful about the accuracy of your work and as well as the communication with your coworkers um, in the workplace. These are the two things that you need to be very cautious about due to Mercury being re, um, retrograde. Um, students this month, you may feel very distracted, but the indications are that you're going to do really well with good results if you can overcome the distractions. Uh, students that are uh, taking competitive tests will do really well, so prepare well for that. Prediction for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, your ascendant ruler Jupiter, is conjunct with the retrograde Mercury as well as with Sun after mid-month, and that's in the fifth house. Now, usually Jupiter and Sun do very well together, so this could be an interesting month in some ways, but because of the fact that uh, retrograde Mercury has come in there to kind of mess things up a little bit. As far as your career is concerned, this month you could have very distracted energy and you just don't feel like working. In fact, there can even be moments of confusion in your mind when you don't know how to proceed in your career and profession um, and nothing may seem of interest to you. You may need to make some critical decisions and then it would be, if you do, you, it would be best to ask someone you trust to give you the correct advice. So as opposed to not making uh, you know, decisions or making the wrong decisions, ask somebody that you trust as far as career advice is concerned and they would really good, give you good advice because of the placement of uh, your Ascendant Lord Jupiter. Financially, this could be a little expensive month. Some of you may spend on traveling and some Sagittarius could be thinking of real estate purchases or buying items related to for the home decor, redecorating. And even uh, some of you may consider buying uh, vehicle purchases, doing some vehicle purchases as well.
As far as love life and marriage is concerned, you are in the mood to have fun and, and spend some enjoyable time with your partner. But Mercury is retrograde, so there could be some difficulties and they they may not happen or things keep getting rescheduled. Also, you may be tempted to keep bringing up things from the past or how things used to be in the past with your partner. And that could become an issue because your partner probably wants you to live in the present. And so there could be some minor arguments there. If you have children, then that uh, relationship with the children will also be impacted by the Mercury retrograde in the fifth house. So avoid being picky or making sarcastic comments with your children. Um, there could also be some ego clashes with them as well, especially after the middle of the month. So manage your communication with your children as well this month. This is also the month where you manage your relationship or maintain a very positive relationship with your mother. Um, also make sure that she you know, takes care of her health during this month. Some Sagittarius may have some real estate deals or real estate matters that they are dealing with this month. As far as other family members are concerned, please um, manage all these relationships this month also very well. Due to the Mercury retrograde, there can be some miscommunication or misunderstandings. Also manage your schedule really well. There could be some misunderstanding, missed, missed appointments as well as a result of that. The good news is that your health is okay this month. You should have no concerns or worries. Um, and also, lastly, there is the possibility of travel this month and specifically maybe to see family and your siblings. And that's going to go pretty well. Prediction for Capricorn. Capricorn, your ascendant ruler Saturn is in a planetary conflict with Mars in the second house. The second house represents finance, family, and speech. It also represents the food you eat. So these are the areas of your life that can be impacted by this conjunction. As far as your career is concerned, this could be an eventful month for you as long as you're willing to take action and make the changes that are very necessary for you to move forward. You will probably understand that there are certain changes you do need to make and may maybe acquire more skill set and knowledge in order to move forward in your career. Be aware that some coworkers may be talking behind your back about you, but don't react or do anything. Just keep progressing forward. But this is also not the time to show off because it's people behind your back that are either talking about you. And so there's really no need to show off because that just kind of gives them something to talk about. The second half of the month is very favorable in terms of career. Uh, you're you enjoy good visibility in your workplace and your bosses and superiors will actually sit up and notice you. So be on your best performance, look your best and make sure that everything that you do, any presentations are A1 and excellent. If you're looking for a job, it's a very promising time as well. As far as finances are concerned, this is a month where you may spend on some necessary items. It could be items related to your career. It could be um, items that are related to expenses within the home, but some Capricorns may even have to spend on the health of their mother or other health related items. As far as love relationships and marriage is concerned, this is a very favorable month. You will share a good rapport and spend some good times with each other, except for a small time in the mid-month when there can be some disagreements with each other. Now, if you can avoid that time, then it's a very positive month. Now, I already mentioned uh, previously that you need to take care of your mother's health, but also uh, you should uh, take care of your father's health as well and make sure you maintain good relationships with both your parents this month. Um, because you're going to be maybe concerned about your parents' health or relationships, this could cause some mental stress for Capricorn this month. Speaking of health, um, your health seems okay this month. There's no need to be concerned. The only concern that I have is you seem to be eating a lot of stale or processed food. So try to eat healthy as much as you can. And some Capricorn can experience some eye strain this month. As far as students is concerned, this month there is a possibility of loss of focus. You could be very distracted by social media and not be able to concentrate on your studies. So do your best to focus and um, put the extra effort on your studies this month. Capricorn overall, April seems to be quite a favorable month for you. Just a bit of bumps here and there, but overall it's going to be a favorable month for you. For Aquarius. 
Aquarius, your ascendant ruler Saturn, is involved in a planetary war with Mars in the first house itself. This is going to impact your physical body as well as at the emotional and mental level. You may feel very low in energy and also be irritable. You may not be your usual self and in fact be feeling more stressed than usual. As far as career is concerned, Mars is the ruler of your career and it's involved in the planetary war as I mentioned with your ascendant ruler. You may feel very burdened with overwork. Also, you may not be um, seeing the expected results of your hard work. This month, you may feel disappointed by the lack of recognition and career growth. Don't lose heart because by the end of the month, the situation starts to change completely and suddenly you may start seeing positive results of your efforts. Financially, this is an okay month, but later in the month, it could be an exceptional time in terms of income. Those Aquarius that are looking for new opportunities the last week of April is an excellent time for that. This month, you may also be able to manage your expenses better uh, than in the previous months and try to grow your savings as opposed to spending a lot. Although it's not a promising month in terms of making new investments. Some Aquarius may have traveled this month as well, especially after mid-month, and this could be quite enjoyable and also beneficial for you in several ways. It, if it's leisure travel, it will be fun, but if you travel for work, there could be very good results from that. As far as love relationships are concerned, this is a favorable month in terms of love and romance. In fact, single people may even find that special someone in their life. There is a chance of someone from the past coming back into your life and this is due to the Mercury retrograde because Mercury rules the fifth house of love and romance for Aquarius. Now that love and relationships was for the single people but for the married Aquarius you will need to manage your relationship and don't get into ego battles. Avoid being combative in your approach with your spouse or there can be arguments that get out of control. Also, relationship with children is also very pleasant and you have some good times together. As far as health is concerned, there are chances of digestive issues this month. So be very careful with your diet. Make sure you're eating healthy and also eating um, foods that agree with you. This month, you may be very motivated to take initiatives to improve your health, like starting a healthy diet or a physical exercise plan. And by all means, if you are motivated enough, you should certainly try that. It would work very well for you. So um, whether it's you know eating healthy or starting a physical exercise regimen, this is the month where you can start doing it. The sun after the middle of the month moves to the third house, which is the house of initiatives and starting new things. So after mid-month, you can start something like that. It would have very, very beneficial results for you. Last but definitely not the least, Mercury will be retrograde in the third house. The third house represents uh, communication. So make sure that your communication with absolutely everybody is pleasant and um, not uh, sarcastic or being critical or getting into arguments with other people. It could have pretty bad results. So managing communication is extremely critical this month for you. Prediction for Pisces. Pisces, your ascendant ruler Jupiter is in your second house and it conjuncts with retrograde Mercury for a few days this month. After mid-month, it will be conjunct with the Sun. Normally, Jupiter and Sun do well together. So this month is promising to be an interesting one for you. As far as career is concerned, this is a positive month in several ways. If looking for a new job, you can get an offer this month. You could get recognition from your bosses and seniors this month for your hard work and effort. And you may also receive some good rewards and benefits like a promotion or pay increase this month. If you own a business, this is a profitable month as well. And you can see an increase in your business. The key to this career improvement is that you may now realize how to improve yourself by adding to your skill set via additional training and learning new things. As far as finances are concerned, this month is going to be an expensive month because your house of expenses and loss, that is the 12th house, is activated by the planetary war between Mars and Saturn. So your expenses get out of control. You will simply have to find a way to improve your financial planning for the future. 
As far as love and relationships are concerned, you need to take care of your love relationships and value your partner. Don't be critical of them and certainly make sure that your expectations from them are realistic. As far as the married Pisces is concerned, Ketu has been in the seventh house of marriage since last November. So there can be a feeling of disconnect or boredom in the marriage. Remember that it's up to you of how much fun and love you want to maintain in your marriage. So do your best to stay connected in a positive way with your spouse. This month, the retrograde Mercury also impacts your communication with your spouse. So avoid saying things that can be misunderstood or start fights and arguments. Also, you should avoid bringing up past issues and reminding your spouse about them or starting a fight about them as well. So the Mercury retrograde is going to have an impact on your relationships. So you have to make sure that your communication stays positive throughout the month. Your health is one of the main areas of concern for you this month. You may have been neglecting yourself and maybe suffering with uh, poor health due to not taking proper rest and care or following a good diet. Uh, some Pisces may actually experience constant headaches, neck pain, and gastric issues as well. And then some of you may even experience coughs and colds or some throat issues during uh, April. One of the things that you really need to be careful about is what you eat uh, because Mercury is retrograding in the second house of food. So make sure you're not eating stale food or it can actually give you some uh, digestive issues. And finally, as a last word of guidance, you need to be very cautious with your words and your speech with your siblings as well as your subordinates and co-workers. Avoid arguments or heated discussions because they may have unpleasant consequences. With this, I come to the end of my video. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I will see you on another future video. I wish everybody a lot of good luck for the month of April. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you later.